Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic and um, two or three belated happy birthdays here. So um, it was thought by its birthday yesterday and he turned 42, which is, well, a number that some of us feel is the answer to life, the universe and everything, or an occasional Sudoku secret, but congratulations to Thought Bite, and I am going to attempt your puzzle today, um, but very well done on reaching that number, I wish I could. Um, <laughs> now, even, even, even more in the area in which I could wish my age would be, Sam's boyfriend Joe turned 30 recently, is an avid viewer of the channel and Sam suggested that we give Joe a shout out. Um, in fact, that came from Sam and Otis in a comment on a video recently, and it was already belated two days ago when the comment appeared, so it's not entirely my fault that one's belated, to be fair. Um, and then finally, Jobo, whose puzzle I featured yesterday, and yes, I think you were right if you pointed out that I was a bit premature on placing the one in box five, everybody. So sorry about that, just human error, as predicted at the start of the video. Uh, but the other error I made was not to mention that Jobo's daughter Lizzie recently turned 10, and that Jobo created a very approachable Sudoku for her, for her birthday. And that was featured in yesterday's description field so there was a way to play it there i will put it on today's as well but happy birthday lizzie and um delighted to give you a shout out as well now jobo is one of the three constructors of this month's patreon reward so do join us on patreon check out the ctc clone pack by skojo jobo you see jojo's name in the middle of that um and you will enjoy yourself immensely solving those puzzles because they are brilliant they really riff on the names of Skojo, Jojo and Jobo, the three constructors. I think I just called Jobo Jojo there, and I meant Jobo. That's who I've been talking about in this video is Jobo. I mean, Jojo is also very good, but Jobo is the person we're talking about at the moment. But since they're all clones of each other, it doesn't really matter. Um, anyway, that's on Patreon, along with loads of other content, and there's all of our apps on... Um, in the links under the video, as well as Sven Sudoku Pad and our merch. So do check it all out, it's fantastic stuff. Now, I'm gonna look at this puzzle, which is a bit terrifying by thought by it. It's called Negator XS. I don't know if that stands for extra special or just excess of negators. And there are special cells in this one. So I'm gonna go through the rules now. Normal Sudoku rules apply. We'll be trying to put one to nine in every row, every column, and every three by three box. Um, there are nine cells in the puzzle which are negators. There's one of those in each row, column, and box. And they have the values of the negative of the digit that appears in the cell. And each of the digits, one to nine, appear in those cells. Now, I'm not saying they're in these cells, but that is one possible layout, so that there's one in each row, column, and box. And if we put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine in them in order, we would be at least fulfilling that part of the rule. Um, and those have negative values. Now, what do they have negative values for? They have negative values for X sums. And a clue outside the grid is the sum of the first X cells in the corresponding row or column from the end we're looking at. So, if the value of x is negative, count the first x cells going in the opposite direction. For example, if row two, column one, that's here, is a negative x sum digit of minus four, so that would be a four that I would put in red, then the four cells we would count are not these four cells, but these four cells, including the four, um, and therefore if these cells were seven, nine, and, oh, that's no good, um, in numbers were seven, nine, and five, then the X sum clue here would be seven, 12, 21, minus four, 17. It would be 17 positive. So that's how this weird negative X sums rules work. 
Question mark cell, question mark clues are any single digit integer from minus 9 to 9. I think we'd have to even allow 0 to be included there. So the x, wow, I mean, that is mad. Now, there is one odd cell marked, one even cell marked. The odd one's a circle, the even one's a square. And along the diagonal, we can't have any repeats. So that's another set of the digits, 1 to 9. And those are the rules. Give it a try on the link under the video. I think this is a hard puzzle. Without having tried it, I think it's hard. Give it a try. Let's get cracking. So, I mean, my first thought is... Couldn't you give us any clues? Look how empty this grid is. It's extraordinary. And all the clues outside are minus one. And I don't think that's such a helpful clue. Because couldn't you get a minus one clue out of a... out of adding five cells together, maybe even six. You could. You could add six cells together. And if you had one, two, three, four, five, 15, and a... M oh no, you wouldn't get to minus one. You might get to a question mark. But you could add five cells together. You could have one, two, three, four, and... Oh no, okay, you couldn't. I thought you could have a minus 9 and you'd get to minus 1, but you wouldn't. You'd get to plus 1. Right. I mean, the, the other thing I was thinking was, obviously, all of these minus 1 sums that are clued at the top include a negative digit, because you have to have a negative to get the sum to be negative. But that doesn't mean they're in these groups of cells, necessarily, because... They might involve these cells, based on that weird rule about negative x sums. OK, but I think I have just finally understood that I can rule out 5. And maybe this is a set of the digits 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, let me think about that before I go nap on it. Um, if this was negative... we'd be adding some positive cells down here. And we can't add four of them, or we'll have this problem. If you added one, two, three, four, and a big negative, you'd never get to minus one. Okay, good. We can't add four positive cells. So the most we can add is one negative cell, or none, three, up to three positive cells. Right. So that is a 1, 2, 3, 4 quad. Now, I'm not necessarily going to use it much as... I mean, I could therefore mark those cells as 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9. That's not so interesting. I think what I can do is also mark these as 1, 2, 3, or 4 on the same principles, because they're minus 1 clues. I definitely can't mark these. I think I could mark them if I wanted with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. But that's so unlimited... I'm reluctant to even try it. Um, I need to think about... Right, here's what to think about, and I have got it. Well, I've got something. I've got something tiny. One of those is a 1. The cell that it's... Because they are a set of 1, 2, 3, 4. One of them is a 1. That is saying, just add me. And that's quite interesting, because the just me is going to have to have a total of minus one. So the one that is sitting here, in one of these four cells, is a negative cell. And that means at least that these are positive, which I'm going to... Oh, I've got this ugly green. I don't really know how I've done that. Let me see if I can change that ugly green to a more pleasant just a more ordinary green it doesn't have to be bright green oh that is bright there let's do that one okay so they are green meaning they these are all positive cells because one of these is a negative one now the other ones 
the other ones of these three cells are all positive because the negative one takes up the only negative in the row. So they're a positive two, three, and a four. And therefore, they are adding cells that look downwards in the grid. That is a fair deduction now. In fact, none of those cells are adding cells from these areas, which is absolutely weird, but it, it's true. And they've got to find negative cells either in those dominoes or in one case where there's a four in one of these places. So the negative cells, there'll be one in box one. So one of these must be the four. If that was either the negative one, which would use up the negative for its cell, if these were from 1, 2, 3, you'd have to have two negative cells in those regions, and that's not allowed because they'd be in the same box. So one of those is a 4, and these two are not 4s, and therefore their negative cells are one of them within that group, one of them within that group. And therefore, I can colour the rest of the cells in those boxes green. They can't be the negatives. And these can't be negative either, because they're in the same column. And of course, one of these two is the negative on the four, so one of those two is negative as well, and that gives me a whole bunch more of cells I can colour as positive. Including this one on a question mark. Clue. And I've got this one as a minus one again, which... Well, since I know one of these will be negative for whichever column isn't using the fourth negative cell, I know that those are positive and one of these is negative. And the negative in this one sum is in those three. So this isn't, no, it doesn't mean this isn't a four. As long as the negative it was counting was here, that's quite possible. Just rechecking, it can't be a positive five here. Oh, and I can't even rule out that this is the negative cell. If this is the negative cell, it will be a 1. Because we're not going... Oh, no, I'm not even sure about that, actually. Okay, I'm just not ruling out that it's the negative cell. Now, what about these two? Or are these question marks? I think they're a bit beyond my pay grade at the moment. I don't know what to do about them. I don't know how I'm ever going to get numbers in this puzzle, by the way. This is the weird thing about how empty this is. It just seems totally intractable. The fact that I've made some deductions is quite a pleasure at the moment. But I, I do need to somehow get a handle on which of these is 1, 2, 3, and 4. Obviously, I know one of those two is a 4. And is using a negative down here. I don't think I know anything else about those. Oh, okay, the rule I'd forgotten a bit is that we need all nine negator cells have to have the nine different digits in them. Ah, okay, so this is not going to be a one because it would have to be a minus one and the minus one is definitely going to appear in one of these cells. Yeah, so I had forgotten that rule. This is also not going to be a 1 for the same reason, and nor is this. So those are 2, 3s or 4s. I don't know whether they might be negative. I can't really tell. Here, though, again, I don't know if this is negative, but we will have used the negative 1 in row 1.
what then? Gosh, I don't know. I don't know what to think about here. Um, this, I still think this could be as much as a six. I know it's positive now, so I know it's adding along here. But it could definitely be a one. It could easily be a two. Okay, the maximum number I think is six because it would be adding five positive digits, which might be six, one, two, three, four, and then a big negative nine would take it to a total of seven. I mean, it feels incredibly unhelpful, but okay, let's, let's go back to the top. What can I do with these numbers? One of them is a negative one. One of them, so the others are a positive two, three, and four. Right, the positive two is going to have a negative three in one of these cells. And we know, do we know that these aren't negative? No, we don't. But there is going to be a negative three in one of these cells to make the positive two work. And then in the other case, we'll have a positive three three and two cells which add up to minus four. One being positive and one being negative. Now I don't think I can tell what they're going to be. Can I? I don't think so. And the positive four which is in one of these two cells, it's going to get a big old negative number there. In fact, the positive numbers are going to add up to be at least 4, 1, 2. And the negative number is going to be an 8 or a 9, therefore, the negative number in one of these cells. Okay, that's interesting. Hadn't reached that conclusion before. I don't think I can use the diagonal yet. I don't know what I can do, but keep thinking about these one, two, three, four. So the four is going to be followed by a, a definitely a one in one of these two cells. And I want to say definitely a two, but it might be one and three and then a negative nine. That would still get the right total. Okay, but the four here is gonna be followed by a one in one of those cells. So neither of these are a one, and therefore they are green. And the one is in one of these cells. Now, here's another thought, is that the four is followed by either one, two, or one, three in its column. And the other digit is the other of two or three. So it can't be two being followed by three. Because then you'd have, say you had two and three here, you'd have four, one, and either two or three there. And that's too many one, two, three, fours. So this is a four, three pair now. This is one and two. Um, these are not negative anymore because they wouldn't reach the negatives. And one of them is a three, so there's no three here, which I could have worked out in this box. In one of these cases, we go four, one, two. So one of these is a two because three is now tied up here. And in the other case, we start with a three. And we don't have a 1, 2, 3, or 4 as the positive digit. We have a 5 and a 9. A 5 and a negative 9. Ah! And therefore, for the 4, we're using 1 and 2, so we can use a negative 8 here, because we can't repeat 9 in a negator. Good grief. So this group of cells is a 1, 2, 5, 9 set. 1 is a 1, 2 pair. 1 is a 5, 9 pair. The 9 is negative up here somewhere. I'm just going to stick that in the corner. Therefore, we have a negative 8 in one of these cells. And we are kind of using up our negatives a little now. We're going to have a negative 
1 somewhere here, a negative 3 somewhere here, a negative 9 somewhere here, and a negative 8 somewhere here. These cells are 6, 7, and 8 in some order, because that's all that's left. Now, this one is not adding this digit as a negative and some positives here because they'd get too high too quickly and then there'd be no no way to drag it down negative again so that's not negative um, it's green and therefore we're adding upwards here and we've had negative one and we've had negative Oh, yeah, we, that doesn't matter. We've had negative 9 and 8 somehow in these cells as well. Four, one, two, eight, and 3, 5, 9 in some order up there. Yeah, OK. Um, sorry, I'm just recapping in my head what we've learned, which is quite difficult to actually... Read, mark, learn, and inwardly digest. One of these goes negative, no, one of these goes positive two, negative three, and the other one goes negative one, anything positive. So in this row, the negative three is in one of those, and those are positive. So the nine is not in those cells, because the nine is the negative cell. The 9 is in one of these two as a negative. And the 8 is in one of these two. The 3 is in one of those two. And the negative 1 is in one of those two. Right, that's, that's really all just recapping, although it did tell me about the nature of those cells as well. And these can't have a 5 in because the negative 9 goes with a positive 5 in one of these cells. So there's definitely a 5 here. Six, seven, eight there. Can't use the diagonal yet, I don't think. Well, I feel we're making a little bit of progress. Okay, so if this was a two, that would be a negative three to make the one work. And it can't be, because the negative three is somewhere up there. So that's not a two. If this is a 3, these add up to minus 6. But we're not allowed to use minus 9 or 8 again. And we can't use a minus 7 in one of those cells because of this triple. So that is not a 3. That is a 4. The, the biggest digit we're allowed to use as a negative here is a 5 because we've had the negative 9, and these can't be 6, 7, or 8. And now I'm getting lost, because how can that possibly work? If we have a 4 and a negative 5... OK, I've got something wrong. Tarnation. OK, I don't think those cells have informed my solve up here at all. So I think this is still all right. Now I have to think again about what this negative 1 is doing. And we can't use a negative 1, so it's not a single 1. Ah, I had forgotten. Had I forgotten a negative 2? No, I hadn't. That would add this cell to it, but you're not going to get to a total of minus 1. We can't use a negative 3. I'm just wondering about this being negative. Because then we'd add these. But that was a problem. So this is positive. I still think that's, that's right. But it didn't work for me before. I was assuming it was a positive 2, 3 or 4. But now I've worked out we can't have any more than a negative 5 as the negative digit. Oh, but why couldn't you have a positive 3, a 1, and a negative 5? I think that would work. A positive 3 here, saying that we add these three cells. One of them is a negative, 
The biggest negative I'm allowed is a five. You can't have a two because you'd have a negative three. So this is a three. Four is too many. We've worked that out now. And these are a one and a five and the negative is a five. And that adds up to minus one. Okay, that's correct. I don't know why I'd ruled that out before, but I haven't anymore. It's right. This is now a 249 triple, which is odd. Um, well, partly odd and partly even, but you know what I mean. 315. So there's a negative 5 now in use, as well as a negative 1, 3, 8, and 9. The remaining negatives we get to use are 2, 4, 6, and 7. And we've still got these two negative clues to fulfill at all. I mean, obviously, I haven't really finished any negative clue completely, but this is definitely something that we have to think about. Is getting, using only negatives 2, 4, 6, and 7 to make these work. Now, again, neither of these can be a 2. Now, I'm not sure now. They can't be a positive 2, because they'd have to add a negative 3 here. Can they be a negative 2? Then they'd have to add a positive 1 from over here. That's so strange, but that is possible. Well, not for this one, because there's a 1-5 pair stopping that being a 1. But that could be a negative 2 with a 1 there. Now, alternatively, these would be 3, adding a negative total of four from here, but I could only use six or seven as the negative number. And I couldn't use seven because then I'd need a positive three again. So one of them could be a three with a negative six and a positive two. The other one could be a negative 2 with a 1 here. Does 4 work? If I could rule 4 out, we're really in business. And I think I can, actually, because with a 4, you're adding two more positive digits along here, which are at least 1 and 2, and you need a negative 8 or 9, but we've used them. Yes. So these are a 2-3 pair. One is negative. In fact, it's this one, because the negative one has a one on the other side. So that is the negative two, with a one there. We know this can't be a one because of that one, five pair. This is a positive three. In fact, I can do a lot of positiving from that negative two. This is a positive three. That's the negative number. Did I just work out what it had to be? No, I just worked. Yes, I did. It can't be seven, because that would be another three. It's got to be six. And that is a 2 to make the sum work. And now that is not a 2 up here by Sudoku. That's a 1, which is the negative in the top row. And things are coming together a bit. What a weird puzzle. That's a 2, and that's a negative 3. And we've suddenly placed negatives 1, 2, 3, and 6. We've got a negative 9 here, a negative 8 here, a negative 5 here. We've only got negatives. Oh, that can't be negative anymore. So this is the positive 1, and that's the negative 5 there. And that gets me another bunch of green cells. In fact, there's loads that are green. And the negative 4 and 7 are confined to these cells that I've just highlighted. That can't be a 6 by Sudoku. That's doesn't need its pencil mark anymore. And I've fulfilled this clue and this clue. I haven't I've decided on these two. I don't know when I'm going to get to do that. I've fulfilled that clue and this one. That can't be a two, I've just noticed. This is even, and that's odd. Let's, this can't be a five, or a one, or a three now. That's seven or nine. I've still got all these question mark clues to figure out now. One of the possibilities here was a negative 7. And one of these two is negative, and it can't be a negative 7, because you'd then be adding 
six positive numbers, which would add to at least 21. With the negative 7, you wouldn't have a single digit. So one of these is the negative 4, and it's adding three digits up here, which are rather restricted, because they're going to see a 4 down here, and up here they're going to be not 2 or 3. So they're going to have to be 1, 5. That takes us to minus 1. And... Hang on, negative four. The maximum this can be is a positive nine, which needs these to add to 13. They're going to be 156 or 157, either there or there, opposite the four. That's so strange, but it's true. Oh, and oh, the one is going to be in one of those cells. The 5 is going to be in one of those. It can't be in one of these two because there's definitely a 5 there. And then the other digit is a 6 or a 7. This is so hard to think about. Now, one of these is the negative 7. And, oh, is that going... To... Now, this question mark's interesting me a bit. Actually, so is this one. This is a positive thing, but it's going to add a negative 6. This certainly could be a 1, to give a question mark total of 1. But if it's not a 1, it's at least a 4. It's very doable at the moment, but it might get constrained soon. Let's, this, this one was the one I was going to look at, because whatever this is, it's not a 1. It could be a 2, but only if that was a 4, to keep this down to single digits. And it could be a three, but own, wow, yeah. We could be adding the negative seven in. And that might let it get up as far as a six, I think. In fact, these digits are from three, five, six, seven as well, because they can't be any of those or eight, which is a negative up there. That can't be a seven, because there's a negative seven looking here. So. That could be a 3. No, it couldn't, because that would be at least a 5, and that would be at least a 2, and that would add up to 10. That's interesting. That can't be a 3. So we are adding 5 or 6 cells, including a negative 7. This can't be a 9, because you'd already have 14 there plus another three there, you'd be up to 10, even with the negative seven, and you've still got a digit to come. So that is two or four. In fact, if we're adding five cells, this might have to be a one. I am not sure. Oh, I've just worked out by Sudoku, there's a 4 in one of those cells, and a 3 in one of those. This even digit is now not a 4. Um, is it wrong of me to hope that a bit of Sudoku would do some work here? Probably is. It didn't say I couldn't have two digits along the diagonal that were negative. That would have been very helpful, but it, it certainly didn't say that. Oh, one of these two is a three. Oh, look, I've managed to get two different shades of green in my puzzle. Never mind. One of those is a three by sort of Sudoku. Oh, in fact, two. I can place two in column eight, and that places three. Oh, well. Hidden singles, that's the way to go suddenly. That two means that's a one nine pair, and this is a two five pair. Does that, I mean, that's not gonna do anything. It puts a one in one of those cells, and the one in one of those cells is part of a one five six or one five seven triple in its column that goes with a four down here, I remember that. Two on the diagonal now has to be in one of those positions, which is strange. 
And if it was there, it's not negative, because one of these is the negative 7. And one of these is a four. Which one was it? That, that was going to start four, two, one, eight. Ooh, that would make this a six. And then you'd have to fit three, five, seven, and nine into those cells. Okay, over this side, four. Oh, well, that one has fixed all this. This has been available for ages. Oh, there we go. One there, nine there. That nine is the doubler, the neg negator. It's not a doubler, you fool. Right, those go green. There we go. This is the side that go. This is the side that goes three, five, nine. That's three in the corner. And that's three in the spotlight. But I'm really not focusing on it much at the moment, as the song should have said. Four, two, one, eight. This is a six now. Okay, that's good. These aren't sixes. That's not a four. We've got seven and nine as a naked pair there. Three and five as a pair there. This is a six, and that is gonna count all of these cells. I'll come back to, the, to you in a moment. That's a seven, which is gonna put a seven in one of those two. This is a two, four, eight triple, and we know that four is here somehow. Yes, we do. That's a two, eight pair. Now, I'm coming back to this six. We're adding all of these six cells, including a neg negative seven, to get a single digit total. So the five green cells can't add up to more than 16. So they are one, two, three, four, six. So that's a three, not a five. This is one or four by Sudoku. These are definitely from one, two, three, four, six, seven. Well, from one, two, three, four, seven, because those are the digits involved. And this is a five, eight, nine triple over here. A strange one, but it exists. Three is confined there. Now, it doesn't, I don't think, tell me which of these is the seven, because we're adding all of those cells. These are from five, seven, eight, nine. These are very difficult digits to disambiguate. Now, what is the green digit down here? Because only one of these is red and is the four going with 156 or 157 up there. The other one is green. It could be a one, which is annoying. No, yeah, it could. It could. Could it be a two? Well, yes, going with a five or a seven here. It can't be three because three is in one of those cells. It can't be four, because four is in the red cell. If it was five, oh, we'd be adding in the negative seven up here. Oh, but then we'd have a big old eight or something here. 13, and that has to be at least a three. It might just, oh, it can't be a five, because five's in one of those cells. And six is too many. Because, or is it? There wasn't too many here with a negative seven involved. So again, it would have to be six, one, two, three, four and the negative seven, but those couldn't be any of one, two, three, four. That's really strange. Okay, six won't work. So these are either positive one or two or negative four. And one of them definitely is negative four. Positive one. That would put a one in these cells. Now, the diagonal I haven't looked at in a while. That can't be three. Or one. Oh, goodness, this is so attritionally tough. Um, but we're making progress. I've got a lot of digits in the grid. I'm feeling quite bucked about that, to be honest. Five and eight must be in those cells in this row. Five, eight, nine, two, seven, three. Remaining, uh, that is four or six. Can't be anything else. This is one, four or six. How about up here? One, three, two, five's in one of those, but that's not very useful. 
Is there a clue? I've finished that clue. I've finished that clue. I've finished this one. So I've got to focus on one of these negative fours. Ah, and here. Now, I said if that was negative four, this would be 156 or 157. And that would be negative seven. So that could only be a 2 in that case. And that would be 4, and that would be 1. And I mean, that's very constricting, but it's not actually eliminated. But I think this is the, tough, the tougher side of the argument here. If that's a 4 with a 1 there, and probably 5, 6 up here, pushes 7 there, and that becomes a 2. And that's then a 2. I don't see why this is a problem, but I, I, it's hard to get your head around all of the possibilities here. It really is. So we're making some progress. 5, 8, 9, 2... Seven and three there, I can't see. Oh, six is a naked digit down in the bottom row. Not really, but there's only a hidden single. There's only one place for it. Is that any use? Seems very unlikely to be any use. I mean, it means six is in one of these groups, but that doesn't mean it's part of the 156 or 157 triple that does exist somewhere here. Six, two, three. These are all from one, four, five, seven, eight, nine. This one can't be four. It can't be five or eight, which are in row eight here. Six, two, three, four, five, eight. This is one, seven or nine. I don't know, how are you meant to get this done? I don't understand. This question mark, we, we, we've basically resolved that one. Oh, this question mark, I have not resolved this one. Okay, so if this isn't one, ah, it's not two, it's not three, and it's not four. It would have to be at least green five. And we'd be adding those cells. If this was a five, that would be at least an eight. 13 minus 6 is 7, and that's too many. You'd have to have two ones in those. Can't do it. That can't be a 5. 7 is out of the question. It's just much too big. That is a 1, and that fixes this as a 2-4 pair. That means one of these is a 2. Oh, and it's not going 2-7 which would have been one possibility, because where it's a two, the other one's a four, and that pushes seven to the other side of the X-wing. So this is going two, five. So one of those is a five, and the question mark that the two clue refers to is a seven. The other one is going four... One of them is going two, five, but on the other side, we've got four and one, five, something up there. So now there's, there's an X-wing on fives between either those two cells and those three cells, or those two cells and those three cells. I don't know which way round it is, but that puts five in one of those three cells. We've worked out it can't be here, and we're putting it in there, which is bonkers. That's not a five. Oh, and five needs to go on the diagonal. And there it is, in the corner, extraordinarily revealing itself. Five, one, two, four, six, three. That's an eight, because of the two, four pair. This is seven or nine. These ones are from four, seven, eight, nine. That's no use, but never mind. Five, let's look at the diagonal again. Five, six, one, three. Everything else on the diagonal is two, four, seven, eight, or nine. Is that any use? Nearly here. This is two, four, or nine. Seven, nine pair there. Seven, nine. Oh, 
come on, why didn't that do any more? Six, two, one. One I can place in box six now. That's strange, but it's true. Now one is in one of those positions off the diagonal. Yeah, that's okay, that's expected. One, that can't be five. One, two, three, five. Six is up here somewhere. So six is in one of those two spots. Goodness, this is just a head wrecker. So I've dealt with this, it was just a one clue. Okay, so I'm really getting back to how am I gonna sort out this X-wing? So let's try it again with four there, which puts seven there and two here. And then I have to have one, five, and either six or seven up here. And on the other side, I would have two and five. If four's there, that's two and five. This is four, seven, eight, or nine. It's not seven, which is in one of those two cells. Interesting. Oh, it's in one of those two, that's why. Um, so, seven on the diagonal? No, it doesn't do anything. Not even nine on the diagonal or four on the diagonal. I've got that even cell. This odd one is seven or nine. Is that trying to help me at the moment? I can't see how it is. But we've made some progress. I'm not unhappy about this. Now, let's think again about this. X-wingy thing. So, okay, I've focused a lot on what happens if four goes there. If four goes here, that's a seven. And that's a two by Sudoku. Oh, what I didn't focus on was if that's a four and this is a seven and that's a two, then you get four here and one here. Well, that might do something. That four there makes that a nine. And that two. Oh! Makes that a two. Four here makes that a two and that a two. Now, that's fine. That's all right. That's... That's fulfilling the diagonal successfully, not unsuccessfully, which I had wondered. This can't be a two because we've confined two on the diagonal to one of those cells. I had a feeling earlier it couldn't be a one, but I don't know where I got that from. It's certainly not a three, it's sitting right next to a three. So one and seven are definitely in these digits. One in one of those, seven in the red. If I could rule one out of that, that would be remarkably helpful at the moment. Two, three, five, six, just looking up and down the central column, that is four, seven, or eight. No, it's not doing it, it's not doing it. I'm so close to a final breakthrough here. Just keep plugging away, Mark. Oh look, five is just, the only place it can go in box three is there. And then fives in one of those cells, obviously, are. So that's going with the one in one of these pairs. And that's with a six or a seven on top. So nine is on the other side from 156 or 157. How about this grouping? 1532, then those two cells are the same as those two. Is that a four? Oh goodness, it's 
so hard to get through this last step. I feel it is the last step. I really am quite confident about that, but I haven't made it. Oh, five, that's a five now. That's not going to be the last step. Eight, nine pair here. Five, eight, nine, one, two, three, seven, six. Can't confine four particularly. I'd love to rule four out of there, because then I could rule it out of here. In fact, if I could rule four out of there, this is a seven, eight, nine triple. The diagonal, come on, do something diagonal. Seven, uh, it's got three possible places, that's one too many. Or maybe this with the with the circle in it. No, it doesn't look like it's doing anything. Oh my goodness. Oh wait, no, we're three quarters of an hour in. That's not too bad. It could be a lot worse. Four and eight are definitely in these cells. In this box. So these are definitely Odd from one, three, seven, and nine. Now let's just work it through again. If that was a four, that's the seven. That is how the negators work. Oh, and then that has to be a one. And that's a four, and that's a two then. So if that's a four, that's a seven, that's one, that's four, that's two. Let me just take out the corner marks and record that in that way. If that's a four, that's a seven. Why do I say that has to be a one? Because it sees four and seven then, and that becomes a four and that becomes a two. If that's a four, that's a seven, and that's a two, and that's a four, and that's a one. So the impossibility is for four to be in either of those cells. That's quite interesting. I mean, I hadn't worked that out. I suppose because they're either a seven or there's a four beneath them, I see. Okay, well, I mean, that is achievable, but I hadn't figured it out. Now, if that's a four, that's a seven, and that has to be two, because that's where two would go. Three, six, eight, nine. This looks almost like it doesn't... Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Four? This won't work, will it? If that's a four, that's a seven, and that's a one, and that doesn't work, because four is opposite one and five up here. So four doesn't work there. That's a two. That's a green two to boot. That is a green two. Uh, not, not necessarily a green two, it's green. These two are the red numbers. This one is the four, the negative four. This is the negative seven. This is now a two. This is just Sudoku, given the pencil marks. I think we're away. I think that's going to finish it. Although, my goodness, let's prove it. Now, that four needs one, five, and either six or seven at the top. That's what we worked out long ago and couldn't write them in anywhere. But now we can. And now, this two is topped by a five. That is not a 1, so this is a 7, 8, 9 triple, and this is a 3, 1 pair, and we know the order. See, that's happening. This is a 3, just because it's the only place it can go in the box. That's a 3 for the same reason in box 6. 4, 3, 2, 5, 1. That is not a 2, clearly. Um, and the diagonal still needs 4, 7, 8, 9. 7 is now in one of those two cells. Can't use that yet. In fact, I might get rid of all the green colouring because it's done its job, hasn't it? There we go. 
we've got the negators mark. Now, have I used all the negator clues? I think I probably have. This just has to refer, yeah, that's a question mark. So, done that one, done that, okay. So the rest of this is Sudoku, extraordinarily. Oh, look, these finish off, nine and two. That's now not a nine. What about this? This still seems to be able to be anything on the diagonal. Um, seven, one, two, three, five, four, six, or nine. No, it can't be four. Six or eight there. That is a weird chocolate teapot quadruple, which has four on the diagonal though, so not quite a chocolate teapot. Um, five, eight, nine, three, one, two. That's four or seven. This is four, six or seven as far as I can see. I think we're just doing Sudoku, so it must come now. Nine, one, five, three, two, one, five, three, two. I'm still not done. Three, seven, one, five, two. That's not a five and that's not a one. These are from four, six, eight, nine. That's not a four. That's not a nine. Nine in the box is in one of those two cells. Is that right? Yes, it can't be there because of the question mark clue. And I've said it can't be there because of the nine. So nine in the box is in one of those cells and that's a four. And that unwinds my useless as a chocolate teapot quadruple. That's a four seven pair, that's all right. Okay, now four comes out of those cells and goes in there. And then it's gonna be in one of those two. That's a six, eight, nine triple, so that's a seven and this now, let me just check this adds up to nine, which is fine for a question mark. That's not a seven. The diagonal now needs a seven and a nine on it, and that really is gonna finish things. Nine, seven, seven, nine, eight. These ones, I don't know what they are, four and eight in some order. That for seven is done. This is an eight. This is gonna finish off somehow, that's not a seven. We've got a six, eight pair, that's a seven. Nine in the circle, eight, nine, eight, four, four, six up here, eight, six here. The diagonal works, all the X sum clues work, the odds and even work, and this is a nine and we are negated. Yes, what an extraordinary puzzle. Fabulous stuff by Thought Bite, happy birthday Thought Bite. Goodness knows how good you'll be at creating Sudokus when you get to my age. Marvellous, marvellous. An absolute pleasure to have the chance to do that. It's really, really clever, but really difficult. Um, well done if you did that much quicker than I did. And let me hope that you'll join us another time on Cracking the Cryptic. Bye for now.